happy what day is today tuesday everybody well it's another day and a lot of you guys enjoyed my vlog so i'm making another one but this is for a good reason i think i broke my thumb so i have to go to the hospital today i'm like smiling but it actually hurts quite a bit how did i break my thumb i was what was i doing i don't know i was chasing my dog because he had something in his mouth and you know this dog is super fast and so when i went to go lunge for him um i fell and i used my hand to brace my fall and then i felt something kind of rip or some what i don't know i felt a pain in my thumb so i knew something was wrong and i was just trying to massage it all day hoping that it was just like a sprain or something minor. And then last night I saw that my thumb was twice the size of my other thumb. So I was really hoping it was nothing, but in the middle of the night, it just kept hurting more and more. So the same situation kind of happened to my toe and we were living in Portugal all the time, but I had no idea what to do and where to go for the hospitals. I mean, I could have probably gone to like the emergency room here at the public hospital, but I went once for my daughter and it was just, I didn't want to do it again. So I kind of just kept walking on, like I think my toe is broken or I don't know, whatever. But I was walking on that toe for months in just pain. Anyway, so I felt like I should be more proactive with my thumb because it's my right thumb and I'm right-handed and I didn't want any potential future problems to happen. So I need to go to the hospital today and I figured Maybe one of you guys will have the same problem and need to know what to do. So anyway, I'm going to Koof today and I did another video on my experience with Koof and my daughter's surgery. So it just so happens that my daughter has a checkup appointment today. So I figured I'll just hop over to the emergency room that's right next door and see if I can get an x-ray done. And then I'll let you guys know what the total cost of everything was or everything is. Um, because I do have to pay out of pocket before I can get reimbursed with my insurance. So I'll have an accurate amount of how much you would pay out of pocket in the event that you come here on a scouting trip and do not have insurance and have to pay out of pocket. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video and follow me along. So we made it here to Koof in Torres Vedras, which is about, I think the ride was about 30, 35 minutes away from Kaldish. And I forgot to mention earlier that all three of my children are sick today. So this will be a fun experience. I also wanted to document how long it takes to go through the emergency room. So it is, what time is it? It's about 12 o'clock right now and I still have to pay for my car. So in case you don't know, there are certain zones right outside of the hospital that you have to pay for the parking. And um, it's actually really, really affordable. I think like one hour is like 20 cents or something or 10 cents, it's not that much. Um, but I gotta pay for that and then head to the hospital. So probably the hospital, I'll probably get there maybe like 12, 10, 12, 15. So I'll let you know how long it takes to check in, do the exam, maybe x-rays and all that stuff. Look at me like I'm crazy When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, 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 I fell in love with your colors They kind of tell me what I'm thinking so you saw everything thus far and I want to give you a recap on how the whole process was and how much everything cost and my overall experience. So as you saw, we did arrive at 12 o'clock. I did not expect for my three children to be sick that day. So that was definitely a curveball for me. And when we arrived, I had to pay. Now, to give you a little disclaimer, I got my numbers wrong. So it was 30 cents for one hour, and I believe it was 80 cents for two hours, and then like a euro 30 or a euro 40 for three hours. If you have time, I would just keep putting money in for one hour time because obviously it's cheaper to do it that way, but sometimes that doesn't work out, and 
you can just pay for more hours initially. So when I went into the emergency room, I went up to the front desk, they told me to grab a ticket and then I waited to be called. When I grabbed the ticket, I wanna say it was probably 10 or 15 minutes until the triage nurse came out and called me back. When that happened, I told her everything that happened with my hand and she issued me a green wristlet or green band pretty much. A green band means that you should have packed your sleeping bag. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It just means that it wasn't urgent. Like why you came to the emergency room was not urgent and you don't need to be seen right away. Then they do have a yellow wristband. Obviously, if it's more of an urgent case, they're gonna issue you a yellow band. And I believe there's probably one more band, maybe it's red for those that really need to be seen right away. So I knew it wasn't gonna be urgent. Obviously, I'm not dying, so I knew I was gonna be waiting. So since I knew that in advance, I knew to pack all of my children's tablets and their snacks and everything that could occupy them for what could be the whole day. I don't know. So we went back to the second waiting room and I knew I was going to wait because the, the waiting room was pretty packed actually, but I didn't realize I was going to be waiting for over two hours to be seen by a doctor. Um, I want to say it was about two and a half hours until the doctor called me back. And by this time I was getting really nervous because my daughter had another appointment in the building next door. Luckily I had the doctor's phone number. So I did message her telling her that I was going to be late and she was telling me it, it wasn't an issue. So when the doctor called me back, I told him um, what had happened, pretty much telling them exactly what I told the triage nurse. He did tell me that he wanted to get an x-ray done. So he did tell me to go downstairs to the lower level to the x-ray room and get my fingers um, photographed or x-rayed, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I did do that and actually the waiting for to have my x-rays done wasn't that long. I probably waited five or 10 minutes and then they called me back and took my pictures and then told me to wait back in that same waiting room. So at that point, I, I was so concerned. I'm like, my, my phone's about to die. My kids' tablets are about to die. I didn't bring a charger. So I was really worried that I would be waiting for another two hours or more. Luckily, it was only about, I wanna say maybe 20 minutes um, until the doctor called me back again, which I was so grateful for. And so the doctor told me that luckily my fingers or my thumb was not broken and I pretty much just probably pulled a muscle and he wrapped my, my hand up. So I was just so happy because let me tell you, having a broken dominant hand would just suck. <laughs> it's, it was not great. Anyway, he wrapped me up and then I was able to then go to my other appointment for my daughter. So as I left the doctors, I went up back to the reception desk and um, handed them the paperwork. So then they were able to charge me accordingly. So my overall bill was to break down. There is a two euro hospital fee. Then the actual um, hospital admission, the emergency room fee was 100 euros. And then the x-ray was 33 euros and 50 cents. So all in all, I paid 135 euros and 50 cents to be seen at the private hospital in Kuf, which I went to Torsvedish for. That doesn't include any fees on the highway and stuff like that. So that to me isn't as bad because most people, especially if you're watching this, you know that you're gonna have to get private insurance and that's gonna cover a substantial portion of that bill. So I believe most people have insurance that covers like 80% of the bill. So in all actuality, you would pay less than 30 euros to go to the emergency room. And we all know that if you were to go to the emergency room back in the States, just stepping in the front door and breathing the air there, you may go bankrupt. I don't know. So it is really, really nice to know that I can go to a uh, emergency room here and find out that I don't have to sell my firstborn child. So that is something really, really reassuring. And then I also was prescribed medicine, which there is a pharmacy right across the street and they were able to fill my prescription and I paid six euros for that. Um, and again, that isn't with private insurance. I just paid out of pocket. So 
Again, I think it was very, very affordable. If you need to go to the emergency room, which hopefully you don't need to have to go to the emergency room or the hospital, but in case you need to, for whatever reason, just note that you will not go bankrupt. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you in the next video. Ciao.